Let me read to you a story about one of the poor children, a 17-year-old poor child. Jabba Hawash, the 17-year-old poor, poor Palestinian child, only wants to live in peace in his own land. He lives in Shechem. He was a member of a group called the Red Eagles, which specialized in killing Arabs who collaborate with Israel. And he was interviewed on Israel TV last December. And he described how he murdered his cousin, a woman, Um Barak. And this is the transcript of the television. I said to the guy who was with me, let's kill Um Barak. He said, why not? Why not? Let's, why not? Let's go to a movie, why not? Why not? Why not? So we went up to her flat, she went in and knocked on, on the door. She woke up with a mask and were wearing khaki. She came down with us. I didn't ask her anything until she had come down with us. I took her out to the street at the spot where I where I wanted to kill her, I caught her up, I blindfolded her, and smashed her head with an axe. Now, the obvious question is, why did Israel put him on TV, clearly? Not to show us, but they hoped that the Arabs would see it and be ashamed. And so, a reporter went three days later to Shem, they asked, they asked the neighbors, no, what do you think of poor Java? I quote now from the Jerusalem Post. The interview had precisely the opposite effect on Palestinians. People were proud and pleased at what Power said, particularly his explanation that he wanted to purify our society. They were impressed that he was even prepared to kill his his own cousin. Ha! I tell you something, Yiddish and 